Hello, my lovely people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your time zone or anytime you are coming across this platform, Linda's TV show. If it is your first time and you like what we do here, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when we upload a new video. Here, we educate, inform the members of the public about the happenings in the globe. We react to all forms of videos. And I want to seize this opportunity to appreciate YouTube for creating this wonderful platform. The same time I put a disclaimer that here in Linda's TV show, we do not promote war, we do not promote violence, we do not promote hate speech. What we are here to do is to educate and inform the members of the public. And again, YouTube call for self-determination is never a call for war. My and of course, we are trying our best to make sure that we work with other agencies. We have shared the beach number which number of these rifles to other agencies to know the origin, the owner, the source of this rifle, so that we can actually return it back to the agency that owns this rifle. We have sent out the bridge, the bridge number to other agencies to confirm, so that we can reconcile our account on this. This is German Lulu. Are you chairman Lulu? Okay. Chairman Lulu. What's the meaning of chairman Lulu? What's the meaning? Help me tell him, interpret. So you are one of those disturbing cardinal people. Anyway, gentlemen of the press, you can see one of those who terrorize cardinal state people. Chairman Lulu. He's cooling his feet in our five-star hotel. And very soon, after we conclude our investigation, he will be charged to court accordingly. A similar case is another case of conspiracy, criminal conspiracy and possession of suspected India M. I think that's the very cool word. If you don't, if you are not intoxicated, the belief is that you cannot even commit any crime. In most cases, we connect misuse and abuse of drugs to commissioning of offenses. We work together with other agencies, particularly the NDLA, to make sure we kick a campaign against misuse and abuse of drugs for trading in illicit drugs. Like this, you have Emmanuel Simon. Is it here with us? Can you please stand up? We recovered a Mercedes Benz car from him and Lee suspected to be in their M. On 30th of September 2023, while the operatives of STS Special Tactical Squad executed an operation that led to the operation of one Emmanuel Simon, Mr. Simon was found in possession of what appeared to be dry Lee suspected to be in their M. A substance prohibited by law. He was apprehended at Apo Roundabout, precisely at about 12.57 a.m. Additionally, during the arrest, the Mercedes Benz car with registration number BWR223CA, in which he loaded the prohibited substances, was also recovered as exhibit. The vehicle is there. This is Mr. Simon, can you tell us your own name? Use the mic as if you want to perform on stage. Hold on to the mic properly, please. Is that in, no? Is that in his off? I ain't off him now. No, he's a now sharp man. Simon. My raster man, not into your man. No, you man. Yes, Simon what? Emmanuel Simon. Emmanuel Simon. How old are you? I'm 23. Pardon? 23 years. Where are you from? Origin. So, yes, origin. Anambra State. Anambra State. Where in Anambra? Okanot. Okanot. Where are you here with us? I was caught with Indian M. Indian M. 
What are you doing with India M? I sell it. You sell it yes, sir. to people? Yes, sir. And you take as well? Yes, sir. For how long have you been in this business? I just started, sir. When? 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 This is the second time. The first one I made was in July. The first one, July? Yes, sir. And the second one is September? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you know those you sell to? Do you know those who sell these items too? They are students, sir. They are students? Yes, sir. Okay. You sell per wrap or per bag or per load or per what? How do you sell to them? Per wraps, sir. Per wraps? Yes, sir. So this wrap now in your vehicle, how many people can you sell? Plenty of people, sir. Plenty of people. Okay. So what's your message to Nigerians, young ones like you, that now that you have been caught? What is your message? I'm sorry. Please don't let Nigerian youth not do it. He's sorry? And he's telling Nigerian youth not to smoke weed again and not to trade with weed. Thank you. Sit down. On 12th of September 2023, at about... 18 zero hours upon credible intelligence, operatives of STS arrested one Hawa Abdullahi Mill of Garu village in Soba local government Kaduna state. The suspect was involved in the kidnapping of some students of the federal government college, Yauri, in KB state. Upon the arrest, he confessed to have participated in a kidnap of students that happened on the 17th of June. 2021, which he did in collaboration with one Katala Dogogide, male of Dan Sadao Forest in Zamfara State, who happened to be the gang leader who led about 100 men to the school for the kidnap operation. More than 100 men. During the course of investigation, one Abaka Dulai male or to do the Kun, Zaria, was arrested and he equally confessed to have participated in a series of kidnap operations along with Hawa, Abdullah, and others. These kidnappers were those responsible for the kidnapping of the federal government college students in Yaori in KB State. They are here in our net. And it's to send a message to others like them that no hidden place for any criminal in this country. You can only do it, or you can't go away with it. We will definitely get you. Awabulai, can you speak English? But Rinji, Mama Kuya Usa Nisusi, Toyowa, Bismillah. Where are you from? Which state are you from? Zaria. Yeah, from Zaria. Since when have you been to this business? Apart from the students you kidnapped, which one have you done again? Are you from the same family? Abdullah. Abdullah. They are from the same family. Yeah, our, uh, uncle. 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 You'll be papa brother, be papa sister. I've been now waiting now. Mm. The same what? Uncle. uncle to this. So you are from the same family. And you are into kidnapping. Okay, tell us. How did you start this business? Kwa <laughs> What are they said? He said uh, the, oh, the, the nephew came to him and he brought him money. He lent him money.
to enable him to travel and join the gang in the forest in Zafara. So he's thanking God that uh, God has uh, exposed them by bringing them here. So God has, he's, he's happy that God has exposed them and bringing them to justice. Yes, it's a repentant uh, kidnapper. So how much have you realized from this business you do? You remember getting 40,000? Who is collecting the money? Who is collecting the money? Who is they are leaders. So you see, have leaders. That is to show that the police will still continue its efforts to make sure we get the leaders. The hands that have always been laying the bad eggs must also be apprehended so that we will not continue to lay bad eggs in our society again. Thank you. Asiran. Allah. <laughs> This case of foiled attempted kidnapping is going to be a lesson to Nigerians. Another significant development on the 4th of September 2023, an attempted kidnapping occurred in Abuja involving Tian Gianguang, a Chinese national residing in Abuja. Luckily, the victim or the target managed to escape his captors and properly reported incidents to the police. Subsequently, on the 10th of September 2023, due to the relentless efforts of the operative of HRT, one of the key suspects in this case, Zachariah Adakule, age 26, was apprehended. Is he right? Zachariah. Adakule had a direct link to the victim as a former employee. During intensive interrogations, Adakule not only confessed to his role in the kidnapping attempt, but also revealed critical details. How many months salary was it on you? How many months salary? It was not the salary that made me not the salary. But so you told us that the salary that you wanted yes, to get money yes, because yes. of salary. I'm trying to let me that's what I'm trying to so, on July, on July, oh, August 2nd, 2nd of August, this uh, is He asked us, um, we asked him to pay us our salary. Me and my younger brother with the rest staff, we asked him to pay us our salary. Then he said that if he did not pay us our salary, if he did not pay us our salary, are we not going to work? Not this kind of thing. So I asked, I asked him and said, if if the Nigerian man should try this in your country, you he it. And you are trying this in my own country. So he's, he replied me and said, you want to behead me? So he left me. He went to work. I went to his brother. This, this, this man named Sianja. He told him to drive me and my brother away that we, we did, we the ones that used to tell us the remaining staff not to go to work if they we don't have our salary. So when the man came back, came back home, he took two of us from the many seats of us. He took two of us. He said that we should go. Who brought the idea of kidnapping? Who brought the idea of kidnapping? Yes. Yeah. After we when we left when we left that place, when we went home. So I asked my younger brother to go home. Then I started searching for work. When there was no work and nothing to do, no food. And I, I started thinking sometimes I should go hang myself. Sometimes I should just Go do all these rituals of the thing, or do back, just make money for you know, this kind of stuff. My husband went to do and all those things. So, I just said, instead of me to do that, it's better I just go make the man that make me, that made me lose everything, pay for this. That was when I started searching for those niggas, those guys, in massacre. Those niggas? Yes, in massacre. So, I met with this guy called Kapali. So, Kapali, Kapali connected me with him. With the guy named Yaro and JVC. But Yaro didn't go along because he was like saying that this man wasn't telling him to draw the town. So he left us. So we went there. So the JVC brought two pistols, um, two spark metrics. One was working, 
When I was talking, what the other one was not. I don't know. On 25th, on 25th. Where's your voice? On 25th, on 25th, I was gone. Uh, around 7 p.m. We went there. We went to area 2. We went to area 2. We went to area 2. At the man house in area 2. We area 2. So, at, uh, okay, that's all right. That's all right. Thank you. Thank you. It's a lesson to us that we need to profile our domestic staff. For any staff you want to engage in your working place at home, you must profile them so that you're not going to get some of these criminally minded elements employed, either in your company or at home as your domestic staff. It's a lesson to all of us. And I just want to appeal to the Nigerians that when you have your staff, please be nice to them. You pay them salary, that doesn't mean you cannot be nice to them as well. If they have issues, attend to them. Let's be nice to our drivers, our cook, laborers, and all of them. They can be of help to us when we are in danger at any point in time. It's a lesson to all of us. That's why we are using this as a case study to educate Nigerians on what we always experience when we have long hands as our domestic staff. It is a lesson. Another case of illegal possession of firearms and impersonation. Emmanuel Kike Luba, is he here? Yes. Hugo Chuku Iwoma. On the 2nd of October 2023, the operators of LLT conducted investigative operation in just the two states. Acted upon credible intelligence, which led to the arrest of Emmanuel T. K. Luba and Ugo Chuku Iwoma. Notably, the team successfully seized evidence from the suspect, including a pump action shotgun, four live cartridges, one barrage of pistol, and five rounds of ammunition. These individuals first firstly claimed to be members of a vigilante group. Furthermore, among the possessions of Ugo Chukuyoma was a police identification card featuring his photograph. The do two of them, who is um, Ugo Chuku? Ugo Chuku? Ugo Chuku? You have a police ID card with you. Hmm? What are you doing with all these guns? Only okay, what are you doing with the pistol found in your possession? Okay, sir, I work with uh, that court So, on the day of operation, we are chasing. Okay, sorry. I, we are, I, I, I'm working with anti court operatives there. So, on the day of operation, we are chasing them into the river there. So, there's a bag, is it? We ran on them. So, I picked him back. Meanwhile, they have came several with a threat to my life. So that was why I lost it. So you recovered, uh, on operation, you recovered a piece too? And you kept the piece to yourself for self defense? You that you claim to be working with Vigilante Group, you should know that pistol is first under prohibited firearms. It's a pistol, automatic pistol, barretta pistol for that matter. You know. It's local word, but it's Barretta pistol, and it's automatic. It's automatic. Yes, now you don't know. Okay. Anyway, it is an offense. You and then what are you doing with the police ID card? <coughs> yes, sir. The ID card actually uh, made a mistake, sir. You made a mistake, sir. Yes, sir. Because uh, the ID card are used to help in arresting. Yes, sir. So how is it to you? Emmanuel, um, how are you to him? Uh, I know him as a police officer. Okay. Emmanuel right. knows Ugo Juku as a police know. officer because he has been fascinating to be an officer and more importantly was having a pistol with him. So Naile, an average Nigerian would believe is a police officer. Please, Nigerians, when anybody approach you flashing our ID cards, please be very, very cautious in dealing with such a person. 
you can see that we have many of them outside here who possess some of our identification items. Even some of them have police uniform and they portray themselves to be officers. They hold. They are not officers. Always contact us, verify all these things, contact your command PROs. We are giving out numbers of police PROs across the country. The 37 commands and 17 zonal commands will help. Please contact them, verify before you engage these people or you deal with them. Many of them impersonate. Emmanuel Fed is dealing with a police officer. Behold, Ugochuku is a fake, original fake police officer having Beretta pistol in his possession illegally. Then have you been doing business together? Now that you know, you need him as an officer. What were the businesses you've done together so far? Oh, no, I've called him sometimes to come and secure our park. So he, he, he was even having a beat to protect. That is serious. No, have you ever seen a uniform before? No, no, sir. But you, you have seen him with that pistol. I've not seen that pistol. No, Why are you shaking no, it? I just have to came here. Eh? Just you saw the pistol when you came here? Yes. You've never seen the picture with him before? I saw it at just before they brought us. Because they brought us together. Before he was arrested? Before you were arrested? No, after he was You never arrested. noticed he was having a pistol? No, sir. You were only showing you the ID card? No, I didn't, I've not even seen his ID card, but I know he used to work with um, some um, police people. Some police people? Yes, sir. Thank you. You can see that. Mark Ruma. Who is Mark Ruma? Ah. Dogoni. He is he's an arm, arm, arms, arms trafficker. On 17th of October 2023, the operators of IRT uh, took sweet action apprehending one Mark Ruma in Azara town, Nasarawa state. From the suspect, the suspect recovered a fabricated SMG rifle. And subsequently, on the 7th of October, after the follow-up operation resulted in the recovery of an additional AK-47 rifle. These operations significantly contributed to our ongoing efforts to combat illegal firearm possession. Uh, Mark Ruma. So what are you doing? I'm trafficking. Anyway, gentlemen, thank you, thank you, thank you, gentlemen of the press. We have all these cases. I'm going to share this material with you so that you know those cases that have gone to court and those that are here with us live and direct. <laughs> But these operations and all these achievements recorded uh, exemplify the unflinching dedication and commitment of the Nigerian Police Force under their naval leadership of the Inspector General of Police, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Acting IGP Kayode, at the Olu Egberto Kopiek DLNPM. Our primary objective remains the safety and security of every citizen in our great country. And our resolve remains unshakable. We will continue to work tirelessly, relentlessly pursuing wrongdoers, criminal elements and deviants, and ensuring a safer Nigeria. We want to seize this opportunity to still assure Nigerians again that we will not relent in our effort in making sure we have a safer community in this country. We want to urge you to please continue to work with the police, to share information with the police and other security agencies so that we can have that country we all desire, we all yearn for in Nigeria. Don't keep this information to yourself. Delay information to us. We can assure you that we're going to make use of this intelligence. That we're going to make use of this information. Go after. Hello, my wonderful people. As you are finished watching this interesting video, please, I want to see your comment, your contribution, your opinion in the comment section. Like I said earlier, let us do it constructively. 
tell me what you think about this uh, video that you have just watched and also about the platform if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please remember to subscribe put on your notification bell share this video and remain blessed